Yo, what up, though? What's up, everybody? Hope everybody's been doing good. Um, yeah, just wanted to uh, share a little message. You know what I'm saying? Another daily verse. But before I started, I wanted to get into the fact of when I first started making these videos, I think I put too much pressure on myself. I'm just trying to, like, make sure I dropped um, daily verses literally every single day. But um, unfortunately, that's not how, that's not how life works. So um life comes with certain things so to get behind the camera and do this every single day um is definitely um i wouldn't say a struggle but it's now with me having a kid a baby um which is two months old shout out to my baby um it's two months old now um it's kind of difficult to do every single day so um i can't promise y'all daily bible verses but i can promise y'all words from the bible as much as i can i'm gonna try to drop as many as many as i can as possible um so bear with me um at the end of the day i'm just trying to make sure that we all follow god i'm, I'm not the perfect person um trying to get there and i'm on a journey trying to get closer to god every single day so we're all we're all on this journey together. You know what I'm saying? Let's take this ride, I'm trying to make it to heaven. Um, nowhere else. Um, so yeah. So pretty much you know what I'm saying, I can lead you to the lake, but I can't force you to drink. You know what I'm saying? These uh <clears throat> these are just things that I know from experience. God is real and he's never, never, never Nothing that is made up. There's no such thing as Big Bang Theory. Um, God is God is real. The most high. There's only one God. There's only one God. So stop calling yourself gods. Because you're not a God. There's only one. And that's a fact. But um Yeah, today's word is from Psalms fifty one. Psalms fifty one eleven through twelve. Psalms fifty one eleven through twelve. And um Let's get straight to it. Do not banish me from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and make me willing to obey you. So in Psalms, this person is actually asking. I'm not sure who's asking in this um, particular verse. I'm not sure who's asking God at this moment, but... um. This is what we all need to do regardless. Um, we want to say, do not banish me from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and make me willing to obey you. You're asking God, you know what I'm saying? To not take away his Holy Spirit. Because once the Holy Spirit has is gone from you, that's a bad situation to be in. Um... Because you never want the Holy Spirit to be away from you. Because then once the Holy Spirit is not with you, then you're not able to really discern and um, make proper choices of what's right and what's wrong. Because the Holy Spirit's not with you no more. The Holy Spirit is that thing that people call consciousness. Um, or you would say the little <clears throat> voice that you hear in the back of your head. Yo, you should do this, you should do that. You should do this, you should do that. Some people say that's what it is, but it's not. That is the Holy Spirit. Because something is tempting you to do wrong. But there's a little tiny voice that says, don't do it. That's the Holy Spirit. So you better listen to it and take a grip of it. Hold on to it. So, make sure that you always ask for the Holy Spirit to stay in you. And stay with you. Um, I always pray that the Holy Spirit stays with me because I do not want to lose that presence of the Holy Spirit. I want to make sure I keep it in my heart as much as possible, especially in this world that we are living in. you got to have the Holy Spirit because there's temptations that will come knocking at your door everywhere that you go, especially when you walk out your door. There's always going to be super, super, super so many temptations. So if you ain't got the Holy Spirit, to say no, devil, not today. It's tough. It's tough. So it's tough. 
Um, everything is a process. Just don't give up. Um, so, yeah, that's the word for the day. I'm not going to hold y'all up. But just wanted to come drop this little video. Um, I know it's been a little while, but I'm going to try to drop as many as I can. Um, and I'm not doing it for likes. I don't do this for likes. It's for Jesus Christ. I'm trying to help lead the way. I'm trying to help lead the way to get on Noah's Ark before Jesus comes back. Um, it's almost time, man, and if you're not able to sense and see what's going on right now in these times, it's very, very dark. Um, it's all revelations, it's already written. There's nothing that you can do that's going to change it. You can't fight it. Um, God is number one. God will always be. Um, he's more important than money. He's more important than friends. Um, anything on this earth does not matter. It's all temporary, so always remember that. So don't hold on to your possessions because you can't take that nowhere with you. Um, yeah, that's that's about it, man. Again, I'm not going to hold y'all too long. Um, that's about it, man. Y'all be safe out there. Stay safe. <sighs> Stay prayed up. Peace. Much love.